blustery, rainy day in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we have been, it's just been raining for one day, right? <laughs> it just seems like it's it feels been like it's been raining. Life. It feels like it's been raining for for weeks and weeks, but actually it hasn't. But uh, did you know that New York City gets more rain than we do? Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah, but yes. we, you know, we get all the it rains all the time in yeah. this area. Well, actually, the rain, the weather patterns have changed because when I first moved here in 1989, I mean, it did rain, yeah. rain for weeks and I weeks. I think global warming has affected. It rained for weeks and weeks. It did rain, rain mm -hmm. for a long time. It has changed now. But I think some years are better than others, mm -hmm. just like some of our summers are better than others. I know yeah. that you guys tuned in to get a weather forecast Yeah, you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, so this week we're going to talk about three times when keto can be difficult. Or our notes say three times that keto can suck. <laughs> and so just we, it out there. we wanted to just talk about this. We're real people just like y'all, just like everybody else. Uh, and so we experience ups and downs of keto, although we've been doing keto for quite some time. Right. And this is actually a topic that we discussed yeah, we, a couple of years but ago. We, we've really been doing keto for a while. It's been, what, three years? Yep. And so, you know, we've been through some of this, but there's a lot of people that are just starting keto, or maybe this is your first year with keto, mm -hmm. first couple of months. And, you know, sometimes there are times when keto sucks. And we wanted to talk about that. So number one, the number one time when keto can suck or be difficult is when you're sick. And one of the things that brought this up is that actually you're not feeling well. I have a cold. Yeah, she's yes. got a cold, which is rare. You don't really get colds at all. No, often. and I mean, I've, I'm have i actually getting it quite late because, you know, I have small children and then I also clean in middle school and all the kids and the, all my coworkers and the other employees there were getting sick right at the beginning of September. So. I'm actually getting it fairly late, yeah. but it, and it's more of an annoyance than anything else. So why is keto? Why does keto? Why is keto difficult in your opinion when you're sick? What's, what's because so you difficult? don't feel good. You don't want to cook. You want easy comfort foods. You want to crack open a can of Campbell's chicken noodle yeah. soup and eat a sleeve of saltines. Preferably with butter on it, you know. You some put of those butter on your saltines. Oh my God! Are you serious? If somebody said, "What's your death row food?" It would be just saltines with butter on it. Are you serious? I'm serious. Is that like an Idaho thing? No. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. That's just a white trash thing. So maybe it is an Idaho thing. <laughs> but anyway, I when you no. oh, and then what's really good is you, you would put the buttered saltine into your chicken we, soup, we and then it would be, be like we shouldn't be talking, anyway. We shouldn't be talking about all the random thoughts, mem memories <laughs> of saltine crackers. So the point being is that a lot of times when you don't feel good, you want to reach out for things, comfort foods yeah. that made you know when you were sick and you already didn't feel good, and so sometimes that can be difficult because maybe you don't feel like having a cheeseburger. Or maybe you don't feel like having eggs and bacon when you don't yeah. feel good. So sometimes that can be difficult yeah, and I, when you I'm, don't feel good. I'm trying to remember. I was sick. It's been quite a while. But there was something that had happened to me a couple of years ago. And we were doing keto. Mm -hmm. And I kind of felt like, wow, I can't really. Well, like if you get the stomach flu. I had some kind of stomach issue. Yeah. And so it was like, wow, I can't. Uh, well, I could have had like a diet because they always recommend like the brat diet or, or bread i couldn't have it's bread. like bananas right. rice apple right. sauce. i couldn't have any of that stuff and i yeah. remember uh i remember when i whenever whatever whatever i was going through it was something to do 